Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care. And I uh, just wanted to give you an update on the deck. I finally, I had about two days, and I finally got up there and got the got the roof put on the deck. So I'll just kind of give you a quick walk around. Not not gonna go into the construction. It's, it's very basic. Um, but I will say the deck, since we made it the width of the house, the, uh, the deck is 12 foot wide and 42 feet long. And what I did with the roof is I made it uh, two feet all the way around. So it hangs over a foot on each end and then it hangs over two feet on this end. Uh, so the roof is 12 by 44 and it's 12 because it comes out two feet from the house. The, uh, the house roof does and then it joins to that. So I'll show you that in a minute. But I just wanted to give you a walk around from, from down here, down below. And uh, you notice there are no steps on the outside. We've, uh, we've kind of gone back and forth on, on what we want to do there, and we just really haven't made a solid decision. Um, you notice I put those two posts right there closer together, and my original plan was to come out with a landing right there off the deck and then have stairs coming down this way or going down that way, um, you know, either direction, and that was going to be where the stairs were going to be at. Well, then, um, since then, we've talked about doing stairs on this end, perhaps, you know, coming off right there or right here and having the steps going down either way. Uh, we just can't make up our minds what we want, and I think my wife kind of likes um, no, one being, no one being able to come up on the deck from down here, uh, you know, to be able to come to the back door without her knowing that someone's there. So sort of a security thing. I think she kind of likes having it this way. So for now, we're just going to leave it as is. But uh, anyway, so here's a look from down below, and then we'll go up top, and I'll show you what it looks like from up there. Okay, guys, so I'm as far back in the corner as I can get, just so I can kind of show you the, uh, the construction from underneath and how everything turned out. So I just tripped over my radio. So the, uh, you know, the, the house roof comes out so you've got your soffit and your fascia and uh, what I did to kind of beef everything up is I added a 2 by 6 to the bottom of the soffit that's flush with the fascia and of course the fascia is where the guttering was at that came off the house roof so we removed all of that and placed a uh, 2 by 6 the length of that so you've got a 2 by 6 underneath and then a 2 by 6 on the face to create a nice solid ledge there to attach the roof to. Um, the outside boards, I went with treated, so the very outside board on each end, and then the beam that goes all the way across, which is a two by eight, um, that's all treated. And uh, went with treated just because that's gonna be the stuff that's going to be exposed to the weather the most. Even though we will be treating this, um, which, you know, if any of you guys have any advice on, on a good uh, wood preservative, I don't want to stain anything, at least not at this point. We don't want to stain it, and we just want to treat it. We just want to treat it with something that's going to help preserve the lumber, um, but we want the natural look of it. So, so anyways, guys, this is how it turned out. Um, you know, I'm kind of turning you all around here with the camera. But we've got a nice long, as I was saying, you know, two foot overhang. So, uh, so it'll be some nice rain protection where we can sit out here and just enjoy the deck on a rainy day. You know, the sound of the rain on a tin roof. Something that we really enjoy. And uh, I'll talk about the, the furniture that's out here, the breakfast nook and everything in a bit. But, uh, but this is how it all turned out. And the other great thing about finally having the roof on here is now everything that's down below the deck, which is mainly just some of my lawn care stuff and my blacksmithing setup, uh, now all of that is out of the rain as well. So it has some rain protection. So, uh, so anyways, this is what it looks like in the daylight. I'm, I'm still, I still have a bunch of tools strung out because I'm still working on some things. I'm, I'm doing a bar on the uh, back of the breakfast nook and I still have to finish up, finish up trim and stuff on that. 
and uh, so there's still more work to do but as far as the roof goes it's it's finished um, it is done we have we have a light in actually I'll show you what that looks like but uh, anyways this is what it looks like in the daylight so this is the uh, the finished product it's um, at the front of the deck at the front of the deck the the top of this beam is seven foot tall so it goes from seven foot tall back to the roof which is a little over eight feet above the door there is a little over eight feet so it's got it's got you know at least an inch of drop per foot on the roof slope you know which is plenty for just a for just a porch roof so here's what it looks like in the daylight now let me show you what it looks like at night with the lighting that we have in place here's how the deck looks at night we've got a 40 foot rope light that just runs across the top of the roof joists underneath the tin so basically where the one by fours are at runs the full length of the deck so some nice a uh, little bit more than ambient lighting. I mean, it's it's enough light. You could do whatever you want out here, but uh, definitely enough light to come out here and chillax, but not be blinded. Uh, I've got a working on a bar here, kind of a work in progress. I've got some of the old roof metal for the back of it right there, and the the top. It's, I mean, that's pretty much what it's going to be. I just need to finish it right now. It's just raw um, so I need to uh, need to finish that up and this is the breakfast nook that we used in the kitchen for man I don't even know how long I built it years and years ago probably uh, 12 years ago 15 years ago something like that quite a while back but I built this and we had it in the kitchen in the house and when we got the deck built we decided we wanted to move it out here and we're going to do something different with that area. So I'm um, kind of getting away from a traditional kitchen and we're going to have more of our family area out here. So so anyways, got the breakfast nook and uh, of course the back side of it's going to be a bar. Then our table, um, log bench that Carrie and I built. And this is a, uh, a log that Carrie and I carried out of a out of the woods on a hike and uh, a beaver had chewed it off so you can see on the end where the beaver chewed it off and chewed off all the little limbs that were coming off of it and it had a natural twist grown into it we just thought it was really cool and so uh, we hiked that out of the woods years ago never did anything with it and uh, finally decided we were gonna put it up out here kind of decorate this up so so anyway, um, the deck overall is the width of the house. So the deck is 42 feet by 12 feet wide. And then the roof, the roof is attached to the roof of the house. It's actually, you know, attached at the fascia and then ran out and it's 12 foot. So it hangs over the hangs over the deck by a couple feet so you know nice nice uh, shade nice shelter from the rain and really nice family area I mean you know Des is out here just enjoying the enjoying the summer night so anyway it's done and we get to use it and enjoy it so as always guys thanks for watching Get out there and make some money, and we'll catch you on the next one.